All right, first meal of the week, except it's actually Tuesday because Monday was the wisdom teeth appointment, so I didn't feel like filming on that day. So this video is actually from Tuesday to Saturday instead of Monday to Friday, like a lot of my other videos. So anyways, we're having some oatmeal. I had plans of having oatmeal a lot this week because I was like, it's easy, it's soft, I have a lot of it. It's cheap, you know, I can try to switch it up each day so I don't get bored. I'm putting some frozen cut up strawberries in them. And then because the strawberries honestly weren't that sweet, I also added a little bit of strawberry jam to the oatmeal. I also added some hemp seeds and some oat milk. And I always add salt to my oatmeal because it makes it a lot better. And I added a little bit too much milk, but that's okay. If any day is a good day to have soupy oatmeal, it would be this day. You know, a lot of the foods in this video are are not going to be very exciting. Not, I mean, not that my foods in my videos are usually very exciting, but this is just a very, you know, relaxed week, you could say. Some would say lazy, some would say chill, simple. Anyways, we're having some iced coffee with not a straw in sight because you're not supposed to drink with the straw after a wisdom teeth appointment. And I can't even use a straw just to stir it because I know I will use the straw. I'm just so used to using straw. This is this was hard for me. Did I use the straw at one point? Maybe. Maybe I did. Maybe I used it the night before a little bit. Maybe I forgot. Now I'm having some leftover soup from my mom. She actually had some soup leftovers that she had in the freezer, so she brought it over to me for this week because obviously it would come in handy. It was just like a lentil soup with some veggies in it, and I added some nutritional yeast to it, and I also added bread to it, but I just ripped it up into pieces and like let the broth soak it up so it'd be soft enough to eat, you know? I just was really trying to like bulk up my meals because I knew that I had limited things to eat and a lot of my favorite like go-to snack foods I could not eat because they're too crunchy or whatever. I was trying to make my meals as filling as possible because I kept getting hungry and I would like not know what to eat because I would be like, oh, I'll have this. No, can't have that. So anyways, I'm adding some frozen peas to other soup leftovers that also my mom gave me because she ended up making a curry vegetable soup from the Tabitha Brown cookbook that I got her. That was delicious. And now I'm having the last one of those salted caramel ganaches. I can't remember the brand that I do like the salted caramel flavor is underwhelming in my opinion. And now we are having some more oatmeal. Except this time I'm putting some chocolate protein powder in it. By this time, I'm, I'm not gonna lie, I was getting a little bit sick of oatmeal. <laughs> it's literally been two days. But I'd been eating oatmeal before then too, so. I think, and it's like getting hotter now, so I was just kind of like starting to get done with oatmeal. Okay, peanut butter, oat milk. Yes, like I said, bulking up my meals, okay? We're trying to get them gains, just kidding. We're just trying to not go hungry, okay? Cause the night before this, I like, went to bed hungry. <laughs> I like, you know, when you like brush your teeth, you're all ready for, you like floss and brush your teeth and you're all ready for bed. And then like you were in bed and you're like, oh, you feel that little bit of like hunger forming within you. And you're like, please fall asleep quickly. So I don't have to feel, you know, get hungrier. If you're hungry, you should eat, you know? Well, you should probably eat. Of course, I always say that. But you know, sometimes when you already brush and floss your teeth and you don't want to do it all over again, you just want to go to bed. So anyways, we're avoiding that today. I'm adding some tofu now to this, to the curry vegetable soup. And I just seasoned the tofu before because obviously it's plain, so it would just make the soup more bland. So I, I seasoned the tofu on its own and they added also some spinach. I forgot that there was kale in the soup, so I really didn't need to add spinach, but I'm just so used to adding spinach to everything. Cooking that together on the stove. And I also have been loving this little pot lately. I don't know why I haven't always done this, but I love to just make like ramen or leftovers or whatever in the pot and then eat it out of the pot so I don't have to get any dishes dirty any other dishes dirty I love it and it also stays hot for so much longer but also aren't you not supposed to have like hot foods with the wisdom teeth removal but I don't know it, it already happened I don't know I can't I can't not use hot soup like what Okay, now I'm having more lentil soup leftovers. This time I'm putting some vegan cheese on it. Um, I also put some garlic salt and black pepper on top of the cheese. And then I'm also adding some spinach. You know, I always add spinach to everything. That's called health, everybody. Nutritional yeast, yes, this is delicious. Oh, I also added some leftover rice. Look at that, <laughs> mix that in. Like I said, I'm trying to make these meals uh, filling, okay? 
All right, so now we're doing a little grocery outlet haul. Um, I went to grocery outlet so I could get some cheap snacks that were good for my situation. So I got some yogurt. I also got some nori sheets. Not that that's relevant, but I just wanted to get it because it was a good deal. There's 12 of them for $6. Uh, I got these cookies from Partake. They were two for a dollar. So I got both, even though only one of them was actually a soft cookie. The other one's crunchy. And I got this chickpea vegan mac. And ironically, I literally didn't even eat these things this week. I forgot about them. Oh, but I did eat one of these. Okay, yes, we got the soon veggie ramens. I love these. They are delicious. Also, the kimchi one's really good. I also got this forager ice cream. I'd never had forager ice cream before, so I wanted to try it because I like their other products. Yogurt, I think. Um, I got this cool house ice cream sandwiches, which I still haven't tried yet, but I'm excited to. And I'm having some yogurt as a nighttime snack. Like I said, I needed I needed snacks because my go-to snacks were too crunchy, I guess. Kite Hill peach yogurt. This was the only yogurt, vegan yogurt that was at grocery outlet that day. I like it. It's a bit different though. Like it has like a lemony flavor that's different from what I remember from yogurt. I'm just not obsessed with it. And now I'm making a smoothie because I suddenly realized I remembered that smoothies exist. <laughs> I don't know why I was like, I have to eat oatmeal all week because my teeth hurt. It's like, why can't I have a smoothie? Smoothies are no offense, way better. No offense to oatmeal. Sorry. Sorry, oatmeal. So we're making a smoothie. I really loved this smoothie. Okay, but we are still having oatmeal because I have been putting oatmeal in my smoothies lately and I really love that. But yes, this smoothie has oat milk, oats, water, frozen bananas, frozen berries, spinach, hemp seeds, cinnamon. And it's a delicious full meal smoothie. I love full meal smoothies. And by that, I just mean like it's the whole meal in the smoothie. You know, it's not just like fruit and juice or like fruit and milk. It's got the whole, it's got the fat and protein and whatnot. It's very filling. And now I am adding some garbanzo beans to something, to a soup probably, the curry soup probably. I put them in the pot with some water and I also added seasonings to them too, just like the tofu before. But I, w I wanted to cook them a little bit before adding the rest of the soup because, you know, oh, I also, I'm also adding some bouillon. You know, chickpeas straight out of the can can sometimes be still pretty firm. So I wanted to boil them for a little bit to get them a little softer. And then I added in the rest of the soup leftovers and and that was delicious. Oh, I'm also adding some rice. Look at me go, rice, okay. Yum. Yeah, so a lot of my meals for this week will just be like a bunch of stuff thrown into a mush, you know, mushed around in a bowl. So I'm sorry if that's not appetizing for you. Uh, I can't help it. And this night I had dinner at my parents' house. I feel like a little baby in this video because it's like my mommy made me this. But, you know, she was very helpful to me this week. Um, as she always is, but anyways, so we have some stuffed peppers and she used impossible meat and there's rice, impossible meat, tomato sauce, and also some cut up bell pepper inside. And that's not corn. It really looks like corn, but it's orange bell pepper. So yeah, very delicious. Good wisdom teeth food, as long as the pepper is cooked like very much, you know, to where it's really soft. Um, but this was a little further into the week. So I was eating a little ad more adventurously by now. And then this day, because I put oats and water in the last smoothie and also oat milk, I was like, I don't really have to put oat milk in this smoothie, right? Like I'm already putting oats and water <laughs> and blending it. Like that's basically oat milk, oat milk, you know? So anyways, we're doing this now and I'm putting some frozen strawberries, some frozen banana. I'm putting tahini. This is my first time making a smoothie with tahini. I just wanted to try it. I wanted to do something different than peanut butter for once. And I put cinnamon and uh, yes. I ended up putting more water than I should have though. So I'm taking note of that for next time. And also the strawberries weren't quite as ripe as they could have been, but I still really liked it. And I want to work on like a tahini smoothie recipe for myself more because I do like it and I like switching it up from just having like peanut butter in smoothies. I always have like whole meal smoothies with like fat in them. I love putting nut butter in the smoothie, but it is like I want to do not just peanut butter for my life, you know, it's good to switch it up. And I also put a little bit of strawberry spread in the smoothie just because like I said, the strawberries weren't ripe enough and I wanted more of a strawberry flavor. So definitely I would recommend this. I know there's a lot of desserts that are like sesame or tahini based, which I've liked in the past before. So that's why I wanted to try this. And I would recommend it to anyone who likes the taste of tahini or sesame, because I know it's not for everybody, obviously, just like anything. I'm sure it would go really well with a chocolate smoothie. Also a chocolate tahini smoothie would be delicious. Just start small if you're not sure if you would like it. 
And now I'm making an iced coffee. I had this maple syrup jug that the lid was broken on, so I had poured it into another bottle. But I knew there was still a lot of maple, maple syrup like in the jar, like, you know, stuck to the sides and stuff. So I thought I would pour my coffee into the maple syrup jug and like shake it around a little so I get that maple syrup out. And I also put some cinnamon in there and shook it up, but that was not very efficient. But anyways, and I had a little maple cinnamon latte and it was really delicious. The only thing was I was a little scared that it'd be like overly sweet because I didn't really know how much maple syrup was left in the jar. It was okay though. There was just enough that it was very good, not overly sweet, but it's a bit of a risky um, situation. Okay, and then for lunch, I had a leftover stuffed pepper, and this one was orange, which feels kind of luxurious. I've never had a stuffed orange pepper before, and I'm just always cutting up everything before I put it in the microwave so that it microwaves better, because as I'm sure most of you guys know, my microwave sucks. It looks like a bunch of mush. Everything in this video kind of does, and then I'm putting some vegan cheese on that. This is the big bag of Costco vegan cheese that I've really been enjoying, and some pepper and garlic salt. And of course, as with everything, I also added some spinach. I don't know, I've just gotten used to like having spinach ripped up into everything that I eat. <laughs> it's probably a good habit to have, right? For dinner, I'm having one of these Nongshim Soon, Soon Veggie Ramen Cups. I always find these at Grocery Outlet and they're so, so, so good. They also have a kimchi flavor that's also really good, but for some reason, they've just been having the, ve the veggie one lately. Also, it says to add curry to it on the cup, and I never did that, although I was always like, oh, next time I should try that. This time I finally tried it and it's really good, and I'm probably gonna always add curry butter, honestly. <laughs> The flavor kind of reminded me of like a Japanese curry, like the brown curry. I'm not sure what the name for it is, but I love that stuff. I am always adding stuff to these ramen cups. Sometimes I just eat the noodles all and then add stuff to the broth and re-microwave it. But this time, because I didn't want it to be super hot anyways, because it was hot this day, I was just adding like some cold tofu and frozen veggies until it got to a temperature that I wanted it. And then after I ate all that, I put more stuff in the leftover broth, microwaved it again, and then ate that. So you got, you got like two soups, you know? The broth is really salty and flavorful, so the tofu and everything just like soaks up all the flavor and it's really good. I put spinach, frozen veggies, and tofu, the curry powder, and green onions. Delicious! And then now it's Saturday, finally the day that I can spend money after not spending money on eating out during the week. I feel like I can finally let loose on the weekend, so I feel like I kind of like earned it. Balance, you know? I started out with a little bit of yogurt so that I wouldn't be hungry, and then I went out and got some baked goods from a bakery food truck called Cacao Sweets. I got two muffins and then like a Swedish bun, and everything was delicious and amazing, and I did sacrifice a little bit of teeth comfort for these goodies. And everything is being filmed vertically because I was making some reels for my Instagram account, Clovis Vegan, where I post local stuff in my area. So if you're in the Central Valley area, you can check out that page. I'm starting to post on it again, you know, when I go out. I don't go out that much, but when I go out, I try to post on there. And I also had a sandwich from a food truck called Havana Cafe. They had a vegan cheese melt and it was really good. It just looks a little soggy because it did have to sit in the car for a minute while I ran into Target, but it was still very good. And I also got a non-alcoholic mojito refresher drink that was really, really good. And then for dinner, I had, you know, I was just throwing random stuff that I had together, whatever sounded good. So this is just a bowl of a bunch of stuff. First, we're microwaving one of these just egg folded packs, folded just egg. I don't know what it's called, but the egg that they, you know, it's like individual packets for sandwiches. I had one of those, I microwaved it, and then I was putting some tofu in the air fryer. A little hack, I guess, is to just toss tofu with some oil seasoning and cornstarch and then put it in the air fryer and you get really good little simple kind of fried tofu, air fried tofu, I guess. The cornstarch mixed with the oil helps to give it like some crisp around it, you know? And then I was gonna put that on a packet of yakisoba from Costco. I don't know how many people know about yakisoba, but when I first went vegan, this was like a staple for me. Like my mom had to buy it all the time from Costco because both me and my brother ate it all the time. But yes, I just microwaved one of those. The veggies in the yakisoba packets are kind of soggy, to be honest, so it's it's definitely better if you cook it on the stove, but obviously soggy was good for me today, so yeah, I just mix it all together with some spinach and sriracha and Japanese barbecue sauce and some furikake kind of stuff, just a bowl of stuff, and it was delicious. 
My only complaint about these yakisoba packets is that they don't have much protein in there. So I'm always adding my own stuff, but like there's some edamame in there, but it's like they give you like three beans. I don't get that. Like why not just throw in like a handful of beans, you know? You're gonna put them in there anyways. And then for Mother's Day, I made some lemon bread. I made a lemon blueberry loaf and a lemon strawberry loaf. I used frozen blueberries for the blueberry one so that they'd be sweeter and cheaper and easier. I had some frozen strawberries of my own for the strawberry one, but they weren't that ripe. So I also added some of that strawberry jam in there. I will try to put the recipe in the description, but honestly, it was very modified. I should just make my own recipe from this and give it to you guys. I didn't film on Mother's Day, but I made it on Saturday night, so I just filmed it. Yeah, and then there was also a glaze, lemon powdered sugar glaze. It was delicious. And that's about it for this video. Thank you for watching and getting all the way to the end. That's kind of like crazy, um, but I really appreciate it. And subscribe if you want to see more videos. Hit the bell if you want to know when there is more videos. I appreciate it and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.